Is there anything that's been shown to slow down the progress of Huntington's? Uh, there I'm not so versed. It's a little bit like MS, another neurodegenerative disease, multiple sclerosis, where certain things exacerbate it, like inflammation of any kind. Mm -hmm. um, and, and those things can be uh, almost random in, in some ways. Like some people who have uh, MS will eat a salad dressing with mustard in it, have a huge inflammatory response and have a flare-up, blurry vision and get worse. And then it returns to mustard. Them. Things like mustard is, is must mustard inflammatory. Well, mustard mustard isn't necessarily whole body inflammatory, but it if it's spicy mustard, it binds to what's called the substance P receptor or the or the capsaicin receptor. We have receptors for anything that's kind of hot mm -hmm. and spicy, um, and those are the same receptors that respond to hot liquid. Now, heat and and spicy obviously very very closely linked, and pain all three of those very close. Whereas pain relief very closely related to menthol and cool. Not just the taste, but the actual physical sensation of cool. Mm. So heat, pain, and inflammation kind of are c cousins in this in this sense, and cool, menthol, and lack of inflammation are also cousins in terms of receptors, neural circuits, this kind of thing. So can spicy food cause inflammation? Sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But I think one of the best ways to think about inflammation, and and here I you know I definite hat tip to Lane Norton, who we both know, and Andy Galpin who really, both really impressed upon me the fact that if we were to measure somebody's blood pressure, inflammatory markers, heart rate, and cortisol during a hard workout, and you didn't know they were doing a hard workout, I just handed you the data, and you're a medical doctor, you'd say, this right. person's dying. Right, 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 right. So inflammation is robust during, right. during hard exercise. But I think what's so incredible about the human body is that the increase in blood pr pressure, inflammation, et cetera, is what triggers the adaptation so that blood pressure and inflammation, et cetera, are all much lower the other 23 hours of the day. Mm. And so there's something special about our system whereby, yeah, maybe if you had really hot peppers, like the most famous of these is the um, Carolina Reaper. Do you mm. know about this? The Carolina Reaper. I have some in my hot sauce. Oh. Yeah. Someone ate Senor Lechuga made me this uh, trio of hot sauces. There's and there's reapers in there. Is it, is that a person or a brand? Senor Lechuga. It's a brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought they, it'd be awesome. There's three it. hot sauces that we developed. Um, one of them is uh, my friends over at Half Face Bit Blades. They developed this one that I really like, so he added that to my little three collection, and it's like. I think it's Reapers, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, and some other stuff, and, um, oh, and uh, truffles. It's really good. Amazing. Yeah, and then he's got two other ones, one of them with habanero, and but there, there it is. Those are the three. What happened? Yeah, so uh, if you like hot shit, I like it hot. Mm -hmm. This stuff is, like, legit. So one of them is heirloom tomatoes, winter truffles, and reapers. That's the half Face Blades uh, cooperative. And then the other one is, I don't even know how to say that word, chulacale? How do you say that? I'm not. Chulacale. Chulacale. I'm not going to. I'm in Texas. I'll embarrass myself even more. Get your more. car sure off that, please. Kalima salt and ghost pepper. That's the, that one's rough. It's really delicious, though. And the other one's habanero, uh, urfa chili, and paprika. And uh, I love them all, Yum. but I, I like really hot. Well, that, like if you can't, if you're like, boy, this Tabasco is rough. Stay the fuck away from that stuff, because <laughs> the stuff I like is pretty rough. Well, the Carolina Reaper in small amounts, I'm sure you can spice it just right. There, yeah. there are these pepper eating contests that people. Oh, I've you know, seen them. We've, and we've played them on the podcast. <laughs> so a few years back, somebody ate a Carolina Reaper, and ended up with what's called thunderclap headache. Thunderclap headache is a massive inflammation of the meninges of the brain. So you got your brain, it's sitting in fluid, everyone knows that. And then there's some thick dura stuff around it. There's thick, thick fibrous tissue. Like, well, you're a hunter, so when you get want yeah. to take the brain out, people think, oh, you just kind of pop, pop the brain out. You have to, you, you need to a sharp razor, really sharp scissors to get through, or a sharp knife. The swelling of the meninges is what happened to this person. They got a unbelievable headache and it's actually inflammation induced brain damage now that's only eating a an extremely hot pepper in in huge quantities how many peppers did this guy eat i don't know i think uh just a, eating yeah. one of those things like you know in the pepper sauce my stuff it's like the tiniest amount it'll wreck you yeah thunderclap headache we know a couple other things about spice and here i i just I always I want to make sure I, I give proper attribution. The Nobel Prize was given a couple of years ago to a, a guy down at the Scripps Institute in San Diego, Ardem Patapuchin, 
and David, um, excuse me, uh, oh gosh, David Julius at UCSF, for the discovery of these receptors for pressure, cool, heat. And it's an amazing set of discoveries that just occurred really in the last 10 years. We know that all of those pathways go to areas of the brain that are involved in, of course, like behavior. Like if you touch something really hot, or you taste something really hot, for most people, they're gonna resist that. But also to the hypothalamus, which houses all these hormone control areas, et cetera. People who can tolerate stronger spice, men and women, we know it's correlated with higher levels of circulating testosterone. That I think is interesting. What we're really talking about is higher pain threshold. Mm. And we, you and I have talked before about if there's one clear effect of testosterone, it's that it makes effort feel good. That that pain starts to have a little bit of a come hither kind of thing to it. It feels a little bit enticing mm. when testosterone levels are elevated. When testosterone levels are lower or if people have lower levels of testosterone, effort feels more overwhelming. How's that? Mm. Um, and the other thing is that ingestion of, of spicy peppers resets your calibration for what's spicy. I think we know that too. And in a way that also adjusts people's pain threshold. So if people get be better at eating hot peppers, they're better at dealing with all types of pain. 